I'm now moving to Zimami. Bali Balele. Right, so the first thing is the covering letter sent with an application. Okay, so let me. So we've got an application. And we've just got to write the covering letter. There's no CV. All right, so what is the difference between the covering letter and the letter of application? If you want me to do this, then send me a message, uh, Zimami, and I'll do it next week. The covering letter, you will in that letter say, I have attached my CV. So, in other words, you do not repeat in this letter anything that's in the CV. So, you don't write down, I have this experience, if that's in the CV. You not, do not write down the hobbies or the interests if that's in the CV. So what then is in the covering letter? The important thing about the covering letter is it is an opportunity to focus on something which is in the CV, but which you want to expand. So let us say that at school, you became interested in cricket and you've now become a cricket umpire. Now that will be in the CV, but what you want to share is what umpiring has actually done for you. That's what you put in the covering letter. It's that chance to tell the person to whom you are applying something that will give them an insight into you as a person. That, it's not in that CV, because remember, they've got it. They've got it right there in front of them. You do not repeat that. You're giving them something else. Now, what are we applying for here? We are applying to the Sunshine Nursing Home for the Elderly. So, you would find something that, that you could expand on. So, what experience do you have? Did you look after granny when granny was at home or granddad or an elderly aunt or uncle? And, and what did you learn from that? What experience did you have? What challenges did you have? That's the kind of thing that you would share. So once again, your letter would be the usual three paragraphs. So you would have Paragraph one, two, three. And you would have your introduction where you would say what you're applying for and your conclusion where you tell them that you hope for an interview. And then in this paragraph, this would be where you share something personal. And sharing something personal would be what is not in a normal letter of application.